tell you tonight about Wabi Sabi. I'm really passionate about Wabi Sabi, and I want to make it a household word, but I need your help. Can you help me? Yeah. All right. I love it because it's fun, it's free, and it just might help us ignite the world. From an early age, we're taught that we have to strive to be perfect in everything we do. Perfect house, perfect life, and a ton of perfect things in that house to fill it, things that often don't have much lasting value. But what if we lived in a world where it was OK to be imperfect, where we could surround ourselves with things that had flaws and blemishes and maybe signs of aging? And I'm not talking about the people sitting next to you either. <laughs> I'm talking about the little things that add character. And it might seem a little upside down at first. It might be a little confusing, because we're really trained to strive for perfection. But if everything, if we really would focus on, be, on being OK with being imperfect, then we would be in a more wabi-sabi state. And that's what wabi-sabi is all about. It's the Japanese aesthetic. It's about 500 years old. And it teaches us about the beauty of things imperfect, impermanent, and incomplete. And I guess I'd always been wabi-sabi and didn't know it until I stumbled upon this little book by Leonard Curran, the architect. And as I started looking through the book, I suddenly realized there was a name for what I believed in. So I read everything I could on the subject. And what I learned is that wabi equals rustic simplicity, and sabi equals impermanence. When you take these separate ideas and bring them together, you get a whole new concept, which is wabi-sabi and the art of impermanence. And it's really a different way of thinking about things from modern society, where we're thinking these days about everything being man-made and digital, Wabi Sabi gives us a chance to breathe and relax and to think about things as one of a kind. And it also gives us a chance to team up with nature. And that's a great thing. Nature makes tea, and we can have a tea ceremony. And actually, that's where the idea came from. Nature makes sand, and we can rake it into beautiful meditation spaces. So really, it's a chance to team up with nature. And it's also a concept that's way ahead of its time. Uh, if you think about some of the terms that people use to describe Wabi Sabi, like organic and natural and simple, those are terms that we really like, like today and really uh, believe in more than ever. So right about now, you're probably sitting there thinking, hey, I think I'm Wabi Sabi. Or maybe you're thinking, hey, I'd like to be more Wabi Sabi. Well, that's great. It's your lucky night. Welcome to Wabi Sabi School, where you too can learn to be imperfect in three easy lessons. You're going to learn to celebrate imperfection. You're going to learn to get jiggy with nature. And you're going to learn to be creative. So you ready? ready? Pay attention. There may be a test. Celebrate imperfections. If perfectionism is slow death, then let's just celebrate imperfections. If you've got a pair of jeans like this, celebrate them. Wear them. Wear your favorite t-shirts. Wear your rustic furniture. Enjoy. I mean, use your rustic furniture. <laughs> See, it's not perfect. Get jiggy with nature. If truth comes from nature, then the more we can observe it, the more we can take time and enjoy it, the more truth we'll learn. And finally, be creative. If an object only is wabi-sabi when we appreciate it, it's almost like a tree falling in a forest. If we don't appreciate it in nature or with our own crafts and wabi-sabi things that we create, then we can't have wabi-sabi. So how do you think you did in school? All right. Well, no school would be complete without a pop quiz. Now, in this school, since it's Wabi Sabi, you've got to shout out your answers, and you've got to get an imperfect score. <laughs> Which is more Wabi Sabi, those jeans we talked about, or the little fuzzy limp creature made from jeans? <laughs> both. Fantastic. They're both about impermanence and one of a kindness, and that's great. You did good. You're doing great. Which is more Wabi Sabi? Shopping in the grocery store for your produce or growing it in your own organic garden? <laughs> growing it. Well, the good news is, yes, growing it, but the good news is more stores are selling things that are organic and grown locally, which is great. And finally, which is more wabi-sabi? And this is not a trick question. This one's pretty easy. The trash heap or that lovely pen made from an old PlayStation 2 pl plastic? <laughs> you got to love the PlayStation 2. And so simplify your life. Join us at wabi-sabi.ws. WS stands for website and? And share your wabi-sabi moments. Thank you. And remember, love, peace, and be wabi-sabi.